Oh god, that's not good. Grift it. I'm gonna hop off. I'm gonna try and echo wave impact. I'm gonna throw it back at him. Welcome back to my Sunny World Iceborne. My name's Uno, and today I'm going to show you how to use the hunting horn. I'm probably going to go pretty quick. I'm going to go pretty fast. I'm going to start off by showing you the moves, the songs, blah, 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 and all that stuff. And then we're going to jump in and go ahead and hunt um, this Rathian. I made sure to not build any type of crazy build because not everyone has access to all this stuff. Like, it's probably people that don't have access to this. But this is just, just, a, just a taste of the power that comes with um the hunting horn <clears throat> excuse me now as per usual um as you see there's notes at the top right corner hopefully uh future me is doing some edits to show you stuff so with y you get a purple note with b you get a red note you push y and b together you get a blue note now let's say that i want to do uh attack up large so that's y B, both of them together, and then Y again. But I'm I'm pretty sure I hear you saying, but Uno, that takes so long. Like, what? How am I supposed to do that while while we're hunting? And well, I'm gonna teach you. First off, there are shortcuts to certain um notes. Like for example, let's say um I want to do self improvement, which is Y twice. So instead of hitting Y, and then Y again, you can just do Y, and then hold back and hit Y again. If you hold back in whatever direction that your hunter is facing, so if I'm facing this way, I'm going to be holding to the right. So, um, well, right as I'm hitting the next note. So you throw out one note, hold back, hit the second note. Which can work for anything. You can do B as a secret note. You can do both of them as a secret note. You can, you can do it from any move. Just make sure that you throw out a move first before you do the hilt stab. Now, the second move, because I already showed you the single move, which is this, that. These are all moves when you're not moving. Now, if you're moving, your Y now turns into a forward slam. If you're moving, your B now turns into two hits now. And if you're moving with both, you get a Super Pound or a New Hampshire Smash You, as I call it. Um, so you'll notice that a lot of the times while you're moving around, if you want to do just one, uh, like a neutral hit, you're going to want to let go the stick and then do that move. Like if you wanted to, you don't want to do this, but you just want to do one swing, you move around, you stop and then hit it. Now, here's some more shortcuts. So you remember this move, you can actually input a second note while you're doing that, as you saw. It can be any note. You can do double B. You can do double that. Basically what it is, during that second swing, you hit another note. Or what I like to do, I just, while I'm doing it, just spam whatever. That That's the easy way to do it. I don't know the exact timing. Yes, I've been playing this horn for two years and I still don't know the exact timing. But I just, I just mash it. I just mash it and it'll it'll give it to you. You'll be fine. But also, you can cancel out of the second swing by rolling. Let's say you do that and you're you don't know if you like what's coming up, you can just go ahead and roll out of that. Um but I would say your biggest friend is rolling out of your moves because if you sit there and you wait to pick that up and re you don't want to do that. Especially after this, you're not going to want to wait for that. You no, just just roll out. Just roll 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 out of that move. Autobots roll out. The only move you probably don't need to roll out of is this one because it happens so fast and this is actually your fastest move. Now that I've covered all the moves, now we're going to talk about songs. I told you about the shortcuts for the songs. So let's say you're about to start a hunt and you're a hunting horn user. So if you have Attack Up Large, which is probably one of the best songs that we have. Um, also for reference, my attack right now is 1537. So let's go ahead and do the self-improvement, which is going to buff my speed and make it so that I don't bounce off anything. And then when you encore it, which an encore basically is a super buff of whatever the song that's played. So if I play attack up large and then I encore it, it's going to turn into attack up extra large as long as you play the song all the way through. So I would start off with this hilt stab. 
that and then secret note he'll stab again and that's how you do both those really quickly also if you notice at the song list you can play the songs out of order so let's say I wanted to play the middle song first I would hit Y and right trigger at the same time because right trigger is your recital um move which I will show in a second but it will always go I know I'm like explaining this like really fast and I apologize um but it would always go whatever song you start off with playing it'll go right back up to the top so if I start playing the second song the next song that will play will be attack large if I start playing the bottom one it'll the next one will be the attack large and then the next one will be movement speed up which will turn into something else but let me show you what happens when you start to play a song and then on chord so in this case I'm going to start playing this song that buff that buff then you do it again Also, the recital is a move itself. That's probably your second most damaging move. Um, because when you play the recital, because you can do it in any direction, I would advise you not to um play a recital while hitting a button. Like, let's say I'm moving and I want to do this. That took forever. You don't want to do that. If the the best way to really play a song outside of just neutral recital. You can also roll and cancel it out. But outside of just playing a neutral recital, if you want to do it, you can do it, um, let's say, super pound, and then hold forward a neutral recital. You kicked it instantly. Also, when you're doing your encore, you can do it in any direction, which I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate. So for style points, let's say... And then I hold back in recital. I'll throw it back, pause, while I'm playing the song. You can also do it to the left or to the right. I usually don't do it to the left or to the right much, to be honest. But, I mean, it's there if you want to. But just never do a front-facing recital while holding forward. If you're going to do a recital, just hit the button. Just, just trust me. Just hit the button. Um, Anything else? I think my most use or my stylish move, you don't have to use this. This is purely for style points. I'm gonna learn this from the legend that is grifted. Sadly, he doesn't upload um, hunting horn videos anymore. Sad face. But basically, you know this move that I've showed you. It's called a reverse back slam. So you run forward, you flick the stick the other way, and you basically throw your horn forward. So in slow motion, it's really me running, turning around and then doing a back slam but if you do it all together it looks like I just threw the horn forward but um, I think that's all you really need to know um, this with your tilts that's with your secret bops that's all you really need to know now if you play a song that's already up you will add you'll add extra time to it it won't fully refresh the song but it will add extra time to the song um, I feel like the best way to demonstrate Oh, wow, I'm about to leave out in a really important note. Hey, yo, what the fuck? This is probably your most damaging move. I cannot believe I'm just now thinking about this. Anytime you've already swung, doesn't matter what move, Y, B, forward, Y, B, whatever, doesn't matter. If you hit the L button, after that move, you will stick your horn in the ground like so, and you will spin it. That move does four hits repeatedly really quickly it does kind of burn your sharpness away but it gives you access to the uh two extra notes which is speed boost evade window up and impact echo wave now each horn has its own different set of songs usually there's a certain combination of songs that each horn will have this is one of my most like ones because you get uh attack of large and i'm a attack of large fiend but anyway, so at this point, when you look at the top left corner, you see that I can hit either B or YB for Echo Wave Impact or for Speed Boost. I'm going to do the Speed Boost one, but I'm also going to do this and get the Echo Wave Impact one to show you what they both do. Echo Wave Impact, first when you play it, you're going to want to turn it towards the monster. Then you can Encore it. Now, with me standing in that, my speed is incredible now my I'm, I, I'm like freaking 
the flash not really but you, you get the point um also you see my attack up large actually left but my attack is still 1768 that's because the self-improvement if you encore it it gives you yourself an attack buff the self-improvement is only for you though that song the yy or the triangle triangle if you're on playstation that's only for you now let's see what the stats look like after i encore this with attack up large so 1991 with large i'm at 2066 with attack up extra large now now i feel like that's probably i think now i've explained everything you can hilt stab in any direction pretty much like you can do this and then do it to the left a little maybe not backwards but you can kind of angle it a little bit is what i mean um i guess with that said um let's go ahead and do a mock run that's why i went ahead and just i'm gonna hunt rathian it, it's gonna be easy easy squeezy lemon peasy i probably messed that up but whatever um how you want to be with the hunting horn um if you're a very aggressive player and you're coming off of i don't know dual blades or maybe a long sword you're gonna have to almost forget everything you learned <laughs> Because the hunting horn is like the Batman. Like, you have to be methodical with how you swing and whatnot. Now, I'm not even going to flinch shot him because we're just going to we're just gonna let him attack. Go ahead and roar. Tip. Always want to have your hunting horn out so you can have access to any of your other um, moves. Because otherwise, if you move and you hit Y, you're always going to hit, you know, use that to draw. Because you can't draw with the B button or with YB. Now, the fastest move, which is the circle, I would say that's your bread and butter that you're going to want to use the most. Because the circle is really fast, you hit pretty hard, you can get out of there. Now, once you get close, or I'm sorry, once you start getting to the rhythm of the thing, just start dodging stuff and immediately counter. I choose not to use left swing too much because it's really slow, ow. But, I would most likely do a forward swing because it's stronger and you get a little bit more reach with it no i'm not going to heal that because i don't need to but using a hunting horn you really need to know your monsters pretty well to be honest and also keep an eye up because it shows you what buttons you push so when you want to um play songs right just do them in combos or if you want to like oh man i really need to uh play my songs go ahead and do that I got time one other thing I forgot to mention your encore if you do attack up your self-improvement or the echo wave songs are different if I encore with this I'm just gonna swing one more time after this where typically if you encore with the move that is a song you're gonna swing and then swing again or swing in multiple times Ow. Or swing multiple times if it's um, one of those songs. Also depends on which way you hold the direction when you do an encore. This is probably like the worst hunting horn description ever, I can tell you that. <laughs> now I will say this. The tenderizing move does really good damage. Also, hunting horns KO. Not as fast as, uh, hold on, watch me work. So tasty! Not as fast as a... Oh, you can roll out of that too. If you don't want to do the Echo Wave note all the way. But not as fast as a hammer. But it, it does do KO damage. As long as you keep hitting the head. And I can tell you, Hunting Horn KOs are extremely satisfying. Go ahead and get it grifted in. Or you can turn his head. Now, when you're building a Hunting Horn... There's one decoration you you need. Not that, that it's really the only one. It's called Sinatrius. I could be saying it wrong, but that's literally the only decoration you need. Now I'm gonna go ahead and really start like pouring in the damage on them, because we've been kind of dancing around for a while. No, I'm not gonna use any mantles because we're gonna go ahead and leap on. We're gonna turn them. We're going to go ahead and flinch shot. 
Now, while you're flint, while he's down, you have a couple options. Do you want to refresh your songs and play them? If not, then I would say the perfect punish is just doing this. Or if you want to, you can throw in a super pound if you want. I mean, it doesn't really matter. What I do want to do, clutch onto him. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to try an Echo Wave Impact. I'm going to throw it back at him. Now, when you Encore backwards, that's the throwing it back at him move. You can Encore forward, which also does different moves. Hold up real quick. It's probably going to flip again. Yep. And knowing you, you're probably going to land. It's like you kind of want to throw your moves out quicker or sooner than you would think. Like, kind of like you're anticipating what the monster is going to do. And that's how the hunting one works. You you anticipate what the monster is going to do and you react accordingly. Ow. That was my fault. I shouldn't have tried to put an extra note there. <laughs> but that's essentially how the hunting one works. You anticipate, you counter. It's a counter move. It's a counter puncher. Now, if you're sitting there and you're like, okay, so what am I supposed to do, like, you know, in the meantime, just keep throwing, throwing those moves. It's the quickest move you got, and you can get out of there quicker. Now, if you want to hit him without being that close, then I would definitely do a forward slam with the, just with the triangle or, uh, Y move. Wow, I'll throw that back. Now, 9 out of 10, if he doesn't die, oh, I'm sorry, if she doesn't die, I'm probably going to get a KO. 9 out of 10. Oh, wow. So, you're just going to stand there. Okay. But, I would say your best move is to, when you want to refresh songs, wait till you kind of get them staggered. Then, you can go ahead and just play the song because you have time. Um, I'm definitely more of a offensive hunting horn player. I am not... I don't build for support. They say this is a support weapon, but I, I no, I don't, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I am not a support person whatsoever. I am pretty selfish. Um, I'll bring some dust to life, and that's about all the support you get out of me. <laughs> Being completely honest, actually, I kind of want to get a speed boost up, so just let me go ahead and get that going. Oh, hold up, real quick. Mm. You hate to see it. Are you doing a triple run? Nope. But yeah, if you notice, because I walked in that puddle, and your comrades can also walk in there and get the buff too. But you'll notice that I am moving incredibly fast. You probably go flip again. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Lay down. Or not. There we go. This is the only time I'll probably go to the side. Because typically I never go to the side because it takes too long. Roar. But I don't care about roars because I roll through those. Um, We're going to go ahead and just play the third one. Dang. <laughs> like, 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 like it's, it's, it's not even fair at this point. But then again, this is just a Rathian. So like, I don't expect but so much resistance to be honest. Yeah, this video is getting long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably put this to bed. Oh god, that's not good. Grift it. Yeah, eventually you'll, you'll eventually start to get faster with it, with your counters and how to counter. Like, I'm probably not going to encore that, because he's definitely about to attack. You gotta be, I know sometimes you're gonna want to Encore, but sometimes it's just, it's just better to not Encore, being completely honest. Alright. Style on him. Oops. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna run three times, but I'm gonna stop him because I don't, I mean, stop her because I don't feel like dealing with that. And I'm out. Agitator worn off. Grift it. And that's the hunting horn. Sorry, this video probably went a little longer than I wanted it to. Am I recording? Yeah, I am recording. Um, 
I think I covered everything. The only thing I didn't cover are uh, ledge jumps. With ledge jumps, you can hit any button, whether Y, B, or Y and B. But you have to make sure that this is drawn for you to have access to B and Y, B. So if I jump off and I hit B, it's going to do the B note. Same thing with if I use Y, B. You can also do recitals out of the air. I typically don't. I mean, like, it, it looks cool. But, yeah, also, this is what happens if you try to recital with no song. Nothing comes out. But, um, like, it looks cool, but, like, I, I, I typically don't. And then you get the shockwave, which is another thing I should learn uh, or teach you. The recital is actually two hits. It's the slap with the horn and the shockwave that comes from the song. Both of those hit, and both of those hit for really good KO damage. Um... Honestly, I think that's probably about it. Uh, with that said, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully, you pick up the hunting horn today. Uh, if you want me to hunt a certain monster with the hunting horn, just just to see how I go about hunting it or or what ways to go about hunting it, um, just let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Fatalis or uh, Elytrion. I mean, I've done that already before on the channel, but I think if I do it again, I have more knowledge of the matchup. And it won't be as sloppy as when I did it back then. <laughs> but with that said, uh, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Also, I'm also doing a... I say also a lot. I'm also playing uh, Yakuza Year of the Dragon. So if you want to see me just chilling, reacting, kind of. Being a little bit out of my element and not playing Monster Hunter and watching a story. Grab your popcorn. Go watch Yakuza. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Even if you aren't playing it, this thing is like a movie. Trust me. I will see y'all on the next one.